Hey them, is the I make white cookie rhinestone tops and that, this is how I make them. I have special paper with holes in it that have my own designs on them. I have a perf like a special printer for it and I just use a little brush to brush the rhinestones into it and then get my transfer paper which is the white paper you see on the right of me where, which I use to transfer the rhinestones from the table onto my top. I make three different, well, stickers I guess for the same top that's because I use three different sizes of rhinestone to make the whole thing look more realistic and well better quality I guess and I have to use three different sizes as all the rhinestones need like a different type of heat to stick onto the top perfectly and that's why it's a bit more work for me but I just don't want to fill in here that's why I do it and you're gonna see the design now I hope you like it and if you do check it out So I saw this amazing TikTok artist who makes patterns like this and then pulls them out and from that makes earrings like this. So I obviously had to go on the website and buy some. They finally came in the mail and I was super excited to get the package. They came in this adorable little box with a handwritten card, business card, look at that paper, hello. And you guys, oh my gosh. Ah! They are the cutest things. I almost died. I got these cute little lemon hoops and then I got these amazing green and pink earrings. Look at how good I look with them in my white coat. Packaging doesn't have to be expensive at all. What makes packaging special is when it's personalized. When you write a little note or give people a percent off for the next time they make a purchase, show them that you appreciate that because of them you were able to make a sale. Thank you to all of you who have purchased. Was if you sell products to have really great packaging. I sell handmade earrings, and each of them comes with a handwritten note matching packaging, and it's just a
Okay, no one asked for this, but I'm I'm gonna show you my day as a stay-at-home artist slash business owner. You know, I feel like every time I talk about what I do, I'm either bragging or I think that people think that I'm an idiot because I'm a stay-at-home artist. But listen, I started this in high school and then it just evolved and then once I got to it was my senior year, I was like, okay fine, I guess I'll go to college because that's what you're supposed to do. And I don't know what I'm just gonna do that. So I went to community college for a year and then I was like, I'm psych, I don't need this. And I wasn't stupid, I was financially stable, I was doing well in my business, and I'm so grateful for that. So, I dropped out, well, I finished the year, whatever. And now I do this every day. Now, do I have any friends, you ask? No. Do I stay at home all the time? Yes. Is that okay with me? Yes. Is it the best for me? No. Working on it, but like, it's okay, I'll be fine, no one worry. I love what I do, and... You know, you can... Do you want to know? Sometimes I 
sometimes having a small business isn't as glamorous as it seems. Could be doing the same ministerial task over and over again, or it could be filming a TikTok on your coffee mug and it falling over. It doesn't matter what it is, it's not always fun. So I want other small creators to use the sound and show their followers something that they don't even... up a business like mine first off you need a machine this was my original which is about three years old this is the air 2 great machine i then upgraded to the maker turns out it wasn't needed but i still use it every day these machines i use for my big jobs for my small jobs i use the joy this is a great machine if you just want to produce stickers for vinyl i use oracle 651 matte gloss and this is a specialized glitter and then transfer tape i use the de tape medium strength for t-shirts you need HTV vinyl which is heat transfer vinyl. It comes in amazing colours and finishes as you can see here. Come back for part two. <music> Your product photo is the first thing people see before they buy your product. Whether it's on your website or social media, you want to make sure that it's really appealing to the eye. I've personally found that sticking to a theme when you're taking your pictures really, really helps. So if you have a business, take this sound and show us what you do to take your pictures. Show me your cute setups, show me some cute photos. You know, I'm all about promoting yourself, so let's do this. Promo Thanks to TikTok, I now know how to make my own stickers and they're super crazy affordable. I just print them out cut them on my silhouette portrait, protect them with these awesome Avery laminating sheets. And by the way, I got my sticker sheets from onlinelabels.com. And then my niece and my sister-in-law have been painting on the weekends. They've been taking an online class. And then my niece has just taken it a step further and she's created some really awesome watercolor originals. And I wanted to showcase her talent and I created stickers for her. So I'm selling these stickers on my shop and showing how amazing my niece is and her artistic skills. So these are available waterproof stickers in my shop now.